Hello, and welcome to video short series for E4.0 from Wilcom America. Today I'm going to show you um, how the uh, reshape tool works inside the program and how effective uh, it is. I've got just a, a circle here on my screen of a satin stitch, and I'm going to navigate over here to my reshape tool. I'm going to just uh, click on the little arrow here to the uh, lower right corner. I'm going to drag this off on the screen here for us. And I want to first just show you the uh, reshape. You can access the reshape um, after you've selected an item. Um, you can click on it and you can press the H is in Harry key on the keyboard will activate it. Or you can just go to the window here and just choose the reshape uh, here as well. Um, I'm going to uh, click here on the reshape uh, tool here, which gave me my reshape views. Okay. Inside the program, uh, once you go in, um, you'll, you'll see two different types of points here in the program. I'm going to left click on this line, and the left mouse button click is going to create a little uh, yellow box like this. If I right click on this line in reshape mode, it's going to add a circle, in which looks like the little blue uh, circle like you see here. Um, I can add node points by just clicking on the line. If I left click on the line, it's going to add a line point. If I right click, it's going to add a curve point. And it will allow me to go in and um, move it out like this um, if I want to. If I want to change that curve back to a line point, it's just as easy as clicking the um, button on your keyboard. As I tap, spacebar key here it's going to change that from a line point to a curve point just as simple as that so I can select the curve point press my spacebar it changes it to a line point and back like this and so that's how you can uh, change the line points to a curve point um, if you are uh, in the in the middle of digitizing something you could uh, as you're digitizing uh, you can again if I left click it'll be a line point of course, if I right click here, it'll be a curve point like this, and this is how those shapes will appear on the screen. If I continue to right click, this is the shape appearance that I would get of a continuous uh, curve like this. And if I press H here again to show the node points here on my screen, uh, this is what I got here. Again, here are my curve points, light blue circles, and line points here, or corner points here uh, with the yellow square on the screen. Okay. When you're using uh, the reshape tool, uh, sometimes uh, because of the short keys, um, notice if I um, put my cursor on top of this, the node here, it uh, tells me uh, to show reshape nodes, and it tells me also that the Alt N keys on the keyboard will activate this as well. So we have to be careful when we're touching keys on the keyboard as well, because sometimes we can actually accidentally uh, type some keys here that will turn on or turn off an object inside the program. Uh, this one here is going to be the uh, start and exit point. The green diamond will always represent the green light to go. The red crosshair here will always represent the stop sign or the stop light. Okay. Um, if I mistakenly uh, here, if I click on this, watch what happens on the screen. If I accidentally tap it, and now it's actually inactive, okay? Whenever you see an item that's yellow, that's filled in the background, that item is active. If you click it, it will deactivate it like this. And sometimes you may be working on something, and you say, well, where are my node points? I can't see my node points. I'm always looking to reshape views to make sure that they're not turned off, okay? And if I click it here, you'll see that the coloration here uh, will indicate that it is turned on, and this one as well. In the center here, you have the Bezier tools if you choose to use the Beziers. And here you have uh, the stitch angle here. Both of these are grayed out now because uh, when I'm, the object that I have on the screen uh, is not, um, does not use a stitch angle here uh, like we see here. Uh, this will only appear if I had a complex fill on the screen. So if I go in, if I click on the complex fill and I press enter, and I press enter again and I enter my stitch angle like this I'm gonna press S on my screen to show the fill 
um, only when I have this activated here and I'm in my reshape mode uh, will it show the st uh, stitch angle here. I'm going to press S to hide the stitches. Here is the stitch angle here. Okay, And again, if I accidentally click Alt-A on the keyboard, if I left click here accidentally, it's going to turn off the stitch angle. So the first thing that you do whenever you don't see anything on the screen or something is missing when you're in reshape mode, go directly to the reshape tools and the reshape views to make sure that those items are turned on inside your program. Okay, I'm going to press S and T to turn off the true view. Um, the option here to, is your stitch edit tool. With the stitch edit tool, if I select it here, um, if I click on a stitch anywhere, if I click on a stitch here, uh, it's going to actually grab that stitch on the screen. Okay, And so I can actually go in, uh, I can use this on the screen to pull a stitch out, like so, on the screen uh, to edit that stitch. Uh, sometimes if you have to go in and um, add a stitch on an edit or anything like that, um, you can go in and click it and you can move a stitch Okay, to edit that stitch actually inside the program. And um, just very simple if you need to go in and uh, do a trim or something like that. Or you can go in and just select that object here, go to your function tab here, and you can uh, insert stops, tile stitches, uh, trims, uh, empty stitches, uh, or you can insert a function for it. If I choose insert a function, it's going to allow me to go in and insert a color change, uh, trim, jump, a stop, empty stitches, uh, and things like that from the menu here as well so you do have the option of using those things as well we'll go into more detail with these uh, insert functions um, with a different uh, short video but I just wanted to show you what you can actually do here with the reshape tool very very powerful tool inside the program that's going to do it for this video short again we ask that you always visit us at www.willcomeamerica.com thank you so much for your time